State's attorney Kim Fox says the office works closely with CPD, but they're the ones that do the prosecuting. Now, as she was waiting for this investigation to unfold, she determined she had to recuse herself, and here's why. Fox says a relative of Jesse Smollett reached out to her over concerns about the investigation being leaked to the media. It is not unusual for me to talk to family members of victims or victims themselves uh, on this particular occasion. But Fox recused herself a week before the charges were released. It had become clear that Mr. Smollett had gone from victim to suspect. I don't even want the appearance um, that my involvement with this case would in any way impede this investigation. Smollett was charged with a Class 4 felony, the lowest felony charge. Fox maintains the case wasn't treated differently. She says his case fell under a diversion. Even if they are guilty of a crime, if they meet certain criteria, if the background is this is a low-level offense, they are eligible to have their cases disposed of in diversion. They don't have to have a finding of guilt or an admission of guilt. Even if he was found guilty, Fox says he would have to do community service, not serve prison time. If we get to the same measures of justice without going through the court process, we do that, and we've done that historically. Yesterday, CPD released about 60 pages of their investigation. Officials later said they were told by the state's attorney's office to stop releasing those documents. After the charges were dropped, we saw a change of tone in Smollett's defense. His attorney says the city owes Smollett an apology. They don't want to be charged with 16 counts themselves. Now, right now, we do know that there was an internal email sent to all prosecutors asking them to pull cases similar to Smollett's, hiding that diversion program and highlighting dropped charges. Like we mentioned earlier, the DOJ and the FBI are currently investigating, so this case is far from over. We'll see on top of the latest. I'm live downtown this morning. Diana Gutierrez, The Jam.